Hello everyone and welcome to Hands-On Auto Training. If you have questions or comments, please leave them below. I will try to get back to you as soon as possible. I recently purchased a PicoScope for training technicians, primarily for teaching cam and crank signal correlation and other electrical testing. The kit came with a secondary coil unplug ignition probe. And to be honest with you, I haven't used secondary ignition probes much at all in my career. I was trying it out and noted the difference of peak KVs based on the angle of the probe in relation to the coil. Note on this vehicle and many other vehicles, the coils are oriented in different positions relative to each other. Therefore, all the readings will be different if you can't position the ignition probe the same on each coil. I want to show something about testing secondary ignition with the, with the uh, PicoScope probe. It is a great relative tool, but the problem I'm having is if, depending on where I rotate this to, you can, we get different rings. So my first rings are invalid because I don't know exactly how it's facing the probe. But as you see, if I rotate this like this, we get a difference in our fire KVs, substantial. So there's a sweet spot, but uh, this probe is good if you're using the same on each coil you test. But on each coil, I can change it, change our reading by rotating it. So there is a uh, substantial difference, noticeable difference on the placement of this. So if you're using this tool, make sure you consistently place it the same. Otherwise, you will have different results. But overall, for uh, testing secondary ignition quickly, it is a great tool. But that's what I learned today. You can have a wide variance here. You check this out just by rotating this, keeping it over the top of the coil. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, leave them below. Comment. I'm all ears. I'm learning more about scope testing every day.